Hey everybody, welcome back to Creepy Places Special Edition. I'm solo at the moment. I'm at the airport in Sacramento. <coughs> pretty, 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 pretty. So I'm doing my own handheld thing right here. Luckily I got the little foot thing right here too. So um, I'm leaving now, going back to Rhode Island after spending several days in California. And I've got some videos for you. First one is called the Sutro Baths. The uh, story around this is, um, initially it was going to be Alcatraz, and I was going to present Alcatraz for you. Word of warning, make sure you book way ahead of time, because I did, and it was booked until like next week, so I lost out on that. Then I was going to do a few, I was gonna actually going to do, oh, well, Golden Gate Bridge. You know, we don't have to do haunted places, I can do, I'd like to do interesting places for everybody. But, uh, well, you'll see why we didn't do the Golden Gate Bridge. It's funny. At the time, I was pissed, but now it's funny. So, I hope you enjoy this one. And we do have another one, uh, Creepy Place, a special edition from California. Going really far now. The Sutro Baths were open on March 14, 1896, on Point Lobus Avenue in San Francisco. Financed by wealthy entrepreneur and former mayor of the city, Adolf Sutro, the baths were designed by C.J. Colley and Emil S. Lemmy. The complex consists of seven pools that have a length of 499.0 feet with a width of 254.1 feet, 517 private dressing rooms, 100,000 panes of glass, an amphitheater that seats 3,700, and a promenade that seats the same amount. Various oddities, such as mummies, totems, and stuffed animals, decorated the inside. During this time, many events, contests, pageants, and parties were held here. After Sutro's death, his heirs had a difficult time keeping the place open due to the high costs of the maintenance. In 1952, Sutro's grandson sold the complex to George Whitney, owner of the Playland at the Beach. Again, due to high maintenance, Whitney closed the baths in 1966. There was a dispute over what to do with the land, so in that same year, there was a suspicious fire that destroyed the complex, leaving behind a few ruins. Today, the ruins are under the part of the Golden Gate Recreational Area and can be visited by tourists. Well, here is beautiful, fogged up San Francisco. It's been uh, foggy for two days. Somewhere over there is the Trans America building. I saw it last night. Here's some of the fo here's the footage of it last night. There's the Trans American Pyramid. My friends in the bathroom. Just want to get some nighttime video. And I'm um, really liking the city. It's just like what you think of in the movies. And so I hope you enjoy this tour of our spe uh, Creepy Places Special Edition, even though not really going to be dealing much with, actually at all, of spirits and ghosts. Well, we're now on a tour bus as we're waiting for more people to show up. We uh, want to show you the Hotel Mark Twain. We're so high. And look at that's a pimping car right there. <laughs> Go buy a ticket and they find out, no, sir, the nearest with two weeks from now. They're not here two weeks. So it's uh, pretty tough. We're going to get a view of that now as I make my left turn. Great it talent. should be directly in front of the coach and it'll be off to our right when I make my turn. Again, you know, it's a little cloudy, but I think Alcatraz should be quite clear in front of us there. We could see the lighthouse still operating, and we got to have that in our foggy bay. To the right is Pier 39. With its 110 shops and restaurants, the Hard Rock Cafe just to the right at 1 o'clock there. This is Jefferson Street. This is the main thoroughfare through the wharf where you find all of your shops and restaurants. Looking back to the right side, that is is the USS Jeremiah O'Brien, an old World War II Liberty ship. And we have a submarine, the Pampanito, in front of her for you to visit if you'd like. And it's a really neat place to walk by. 
on our right side, maybe when we're done you're going to be hungry. 1849, the Bodine Bakery opened up with fresh San Francisco sourdough bread, but what they do is they put clam chowder into a buttered sourdough bowl. It's out of this world. They do the best clam chowder most people have ever tasted. Yeah. The Golden Gate Bridge toll is $6 for a car, $9.50 for this bus. One way. You only pay one way coming into town. We don't charge you to leave. <laughs> pretty well. I like the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> try to get a closer look. Uh, wow. So let me do extreme close up. like a little pathway we can't we're not gonna stay too too long but I'll try to get some really good stuff here's one of the ruins there's Pacific Ocean oh look at the waves I don't know if it's haunted or not it doesn't matter look at this there's the coffee shop I think eventually they're gonna make it where you can go down. We get more zooming in. It's more of the ruins. And as you know, as you know, from the beginning it was burnt down. Wow. I kinda wish you could go down there. Oh, there's some of the piping. You know, this wasn't great about zooming. Ah, look at that. Uh, you know, if you can't get too close, at least you could just zoom in. And I'm hoping the camera's picking up on the sound. Oh, it's gorgeous. You know, and honestly, if you think about it on this foggy day, even though it was disappointing for the Golden Gate Bridge, which I'm very upset over, um, 
the ruins, it's, it's just something else. I think if you go all the way down there, I think you can walk up. I'm just gonna get a little bit more. Different angles, pretty much, but I'm not gonna go too far. Another structure. museum there. Oh gosh, I love it. There's people, people, people. Or are they? Or are they phantoms? Say hi. Problem is when you zoom in, the camera gets a little too, too shaky. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go too, too far, but I'm going to try to go down just a little bit. Ah, gosh, look at that. It really, it's all really nice. Look at all the trees up there. You know, this is an unexpected creepy place because it wasn't what I wanted to do, thanks to the weather. And, uh, <laughs> place is being sold out really quickly. Uh, you know, but, I mean, we make do. We make do, you know? You don't know about this place, and the fog and everything really adds to the sense of eeriness. And I'm hoping that this thing, the, the video I'm taking does it justice, even in the fog. It's eerie, it's kind of creepy. I don't think it's haunted, but I would, I, I don't know if it is or not. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful. Ah, uh, smell that Pacific Ocean air. more of the ruins. <sighs> I guess that's what I guess like you said that's the main bath. Let me go down here, get a more of the view of it. Oh look at the waves. The ruins. I actually actually listen to this. I wanna do I doubt there'll be any EVPs. Let me go down here real quick. I know, I know. No matter where I go, I'm still such I'm a still go such holy shit. Sorry for all you uh virgin ears out there, but this is gorgeous. Let me put my arms down so I can keep this camera steady. Wow, wow. You know what? I gotta say, I love New England, I really do, but <laughs> the Pacific Ocean, this Pacific Coast is fantastic. Now, I'm going to take some pictures. Oh, graffiti, oof. What's that? That's XXL. Yeah, that would be. I've seen people getting on the bus, so I better go. I just hope you enjoyed this as I, much as I did. You gotta really push to get out there. Now it looks more like storm clouds rather than the fog. Storm clouds are coming in, they're mixing it all up. Uh, sorry, sir, I don't know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> Up ahead of us, you're going to see some condos. Back in the 1920s and 30s, this was Playland at the Beach. It was a large amusement park with roller coaster rides, penny arcades, Nickelodeons, Ferris wheels. Everybody your Dragging your nice